Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time ever to my channel, I, I would like to thank you for joining me um, and being here. I hope if you like the content of the channel that you'll do those YouTube things like like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It'd be very much appreciated by me. Um, this is a crafting channel that mainly focuses on diamond painting. Um, so if this is your thing, I hope you like it. And to all my dear friends and returning True Blues, thank you for continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. So uh, without further ado, welcome. Here's the video. Thanks for joining me. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I hope you all are fantastic today. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I have two finishes for you. Um, they're the first two, I believe. Let me just check because I am keeping a logbook now. Um, let's see. Yes, yes. Well, I would say this is kind of the first two of the three finishes I've had for the year on a um, kind of a more of a larger scale. I have done smaller special shapes. Um, but I did do a Crystal Canvas Arts, um, I think it was like a 30 by 50s, 30 by 60, something like that. Um, that was a full crystal. Um, but these are the kind of two bigger ones I've done. Uh, they're regular rounds and, um, through January and February, which really, honestly, to be truthful, January, <laughs> um, and uh, I love them. I think they came out fabulous. I hope you love them too. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is from Pam's Diamond Painting. And the second one is from Jada Gem Shop. Um, so I guess without further ado, let's look at the two finishes. And uh, I want you to uh, give me all your thoughts in the comments below. Um, do you love them? Do you hate them? Uh, have you ever shop there, all this kind of good stuff. Would you buy these? Uh, well, the, the Jada Gem Shop, I don't think it's available anymore, but so let's look at it. Okay. First one, let's go with the Pam's Diamond Painting. So here it is. Um, so this is called Koala Cuddles by my dear, dear super friend, Stacy Deal. Um, she has some great artwork and she uh, at Pam's. So check her out. Um, so this is a 60 by 60 round. It has 48 colors. I didn't change anything on this canvas at all. I did it um, as charted. Shoot, just, just put that there. Um, so thoughts, 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 thoughts. Uh, where to start? Oh, I well, before I tell my thoughts on these, I just want to say generally... How I always find the post reviews is that if it's great, you know, or all the good stuff you have to say, there's not really much to talk about. But I'm kind of somebody who is who likes to super explain everything. So if I go into my explanation of either things that were issues or things that might not be my preference, let's say, um, it kind of sounds worse than it is, you know, because I kind of feel like you explain so much, you know. So it might sound like there's a whole lot more bad than good, but it's really not the case. Believe me, both of these kits, I just want to say right now, they turned out fabulous. I had a great time doing them. I love them. So let me just put that out there. Uh, you know, my issues are just personal kind of whatever issues I might have are just kind of like personal stuff. So... <laughs> Uh, and not problems with the company necessarily, you know. It, so just, I just always like to give that little caveat. All right. So let's talk about the canvas. I'll try to remember because it's been a little bit and my memory is so bad. So the great thing about this one, first off, let's talk about the the field. It was perfectly fine and clear. Um, they use numbers and they go into letters and then to symbols. I always love that. Um, I love the amount of ABs. I love the look of this. Um, the look of the leaves, I think, are fabulous. I love the leaves back here. All of the leaves. I love how that they kind of have that look over, you know. 
I, I love the... Oh, how do I say it? I, I don't know. I just, it's, just, it's just the design of it. it. It's just really well done. Um, the colors are beautiful. Um, I will say the diamonds are extremely, extremely sparkly. I mean, you really actually, actually can see it through the camera, how sparkly they are. And I will also say that the, the Pam's Diamonds, um, ABs are some of the better ABs as well. It's not just a little coating on top. The AB coating is really great. Um, as you can see right in here, I, I love the placement of the ABs because when I first started working on it, I was kind of like... I started working on it and I'm like, oh, you know, I have to decide what I'm going to do with the ABs or am I going to add stuff? Like I was planning, well, maybe I'll add some stuff to her, you know, um, headband in the flower here or do these flowers maybe in crystals. But then when I got over to here, I was I realized, oh, no, this is going to be ABs and there's going to be ABs here. So I actually don't have to change anything. So I really loved how they charted the ABs on this one. Um, there's the ABs in the koala over here and in his face down here. Um, there's some on her, again, all this white part on her top as well as in here. And they have some in the flowers up here. A tiny bit, just give it a little pop on the cheek and a, one or two in the eye, the white ABs. Um, a little surrounding the flowers here. And so it's really, really pretty. Um, these, this was kind of a good mixture for people who like confetti and color blocking. Um, for instance, a lot of the area down here, like the koala, was quite confetti-ish. Like, uh, there's lots of different colors in here, in this area, as well as a little down in there. But then we did get color blocking. We got color blocking here, as well as over in here, up at the top, you know, in, in some of these leaves and a lot of her hair. But then in this area, there's lots of confetti here. So it, it's a good amount. It wasn't enough that confetti that's going to drive you crazy or color blocking that's going to drive you crazy. I think it was, this was a good mixture of both um, to make. Uh, and that's good to have a in a dime painting, you know. Um, she is so super cute. I just love how she turned out. Um, yeah, so the only kind of, um, thing that I will, oh, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Was it this? I think, I don't remember. So the, they, they do come, Pam does come with two, um, pieces of, sh uh, cover sheet, um, a cl the clear cover sheet. I don't know if I had an issue with that ripping or not. I don't remember if it was this one or another kit. So I really shouldn't say I did. But I know sometimes if the, the, the clear sheet is too thin, um, it kind of tends to rip sometimes. Um, but I don't know if this was the canvas that I had an issue with that on that. So I'm not going to say that. Um, but I will say the only kind of, if you want to call it issue, I had was in some of the symbols... Um, you're not going to see it unless, you know, you really can't see it, honestly. Um, I don't have an issue I, unless you kind of look at it at an, like an up kind of swoopy angle or low angle. But, um, it's the kind of thing where is the symbol sometimes, certain symbols, um, if it's not like a hundred percent placed on the drill and even honestly, sometimes if it is, you can see like a little bit of a shadow um when the drill is down you know so it's that's just a pet peeve of mine um so I, sometimes i wish like the this the symbol was printed just a teeniest bit smaller or they maybe use a different kind of symbol um but and that tends to be in my you can tend to see it in the lighter colors um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't, yeah, I don't know if you're, you're really seeing it. Um, but it's not bad at all, really. Um, there's a little smooth there. Uh, 
Yeah, see, that, see, so it's kind of just a me thing, because I don't even think you can see it, um, which is a good thing. Um, but just by the angle I'm looking at it, and that's not a normal angle you're going to look at, look at it anyways. It's just me when I diamond paint, you're looking down at it, and you can see, like, just a little bit of black poking up behind it. It just drives me nuts um, whenever that happens. But the, as far as the finished product goes... It's perfectly fine. That's not an issue. It's just how I have to work on it. But I just like to point that out um, because it's just my process. Um, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> it happens. Um, so, yeah. So, I absolutely love this one. It, it just... I, I was so thrilled when I first got it. And I wanted to do it right away. And I'm so glad I did. I, this was, I did this for... Technically for the Retro Cult Classic, which I'm hosting with Stacy. Um, in February, um, so this is my official canvas for the event. I actually think, again, it's just gorgeous. Um, I, I'm really impressed with Pam Diamond Painting. Uh, so there you go. I don't know what else to say. I hope you like it. Um, I'm going to bring you up a little bit, I guess, so we can, uh, before I set it aside, and we can go do the next one, and we can look a little closer, um, so you can see, again, the drill field... and the sparkliness of the diamonds. And all the different colors. And look at that cute little koala. I love how, I love also, um, I'm gonna just put him down now. Um, I was telling Stacy, I think, I love the, how the koala has a lot of this blue color in it, too. I'm glad it's not a brown koala, and I'm glad it's just not like a gray. Now, there are, of course, are lots of grays in here, but I love how there's the grays, the blues, and the really either dark blue or black um, with the lighter grays and, and all that. I really think this looks so good. Um, this is where the confetti does work um, in the texture it looks like real hair on the koala and it, with all those different colors and just the movement of it, as well as in her hair. Her hair looks absolutely fabulous, you know, with the, the swoopy, those little curls up there and the definition and the 3D kind of effect that the colors give the hair. That's good confetti. So, because a lot of times they just throw confetti in for confetti's sake. That's good confetti. Um, so... Love it, love it. Thank you so much, Stacy. Thank you, everybody at Pam's, for this fabulous kit. So I'm just going to roll this up real quick, just like this, so I can put it on the side, because I have a whole bunch of stuff here where I can't put it flat right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this second one, it might be a little harder to show you uh, because of the size. So... This is from Jaded Gem Shop. Jaded Gem Shop. It's my only uh, one I have from there. Um, this was gifted to me by a friend who wishes to remain anonymous. So again, I've said it, but I'll say it again a million times. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love this kit. Um, when she she came to me and said I wanted to get give you a gift, I was like, Are you sure? I mean, this is that's very nice of you, but you don't have to do it. And and so I was really touched that she did. And she said. You know, she wanted to get me something from Jade. And so she told me to look on the site. And I looked and, you know, Jade has lots of great stuff. Um, but I also know Jade is um, a lot of, uh, again, confetti kind of stuff. And I know she's like a square expert kind of person. So I'm more of a round person and I don't want a lot of confetti. So I was really trying to find something that would kind of fit my design aesthetic or tastes and that um, I would actually enjoy working on. So I came across this. I love the colors. I love the design. I, I, it was just, a, it was a thing meant to be. I don't think it's available because last time I went to look, it wasn't on the site. Um, so I don't think it's available anymore. But it's really, really beautiful. Um, again, thank you so much for your generosity, my dear friend, for getting me this kit. Um, and so let's look at it. I work, oh, and I got this, um, I don't remember the month I got it, but I knew I wanted to work on this in January because I was like, this is going to be my January birthday month sort of kit I wanted to work on. 
So, um, and that's what I did. I, uh, it's my birthday canvas, I considered it. So, let's look at her. Ready? Voila. Gorgeous. I'm, I guess I'll put her this way so you can see her uh, full out your way. Okay, she, so this is called Crowned by Victoria Leal. Um, it is a 60 by 90 round. There were 27 colors. Love only 20, 27 colors. Um, including three ABs. Um, I will say this is the same thing I had on this kit that I had with the Pams. <clears throat> Excuse me. The, with the symbols being a little bit, either the symbols seeming a little bit bigger or the drills being smaller. For some reason, I was working on this kit. I felt like the drills were like the smidgenest bit smaller than other company drills. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if the symbols were just a little bit printed bigger. I don't know. Uh, but again, both of these kits, for some reason, I could see backing on this one's a little bit more um, with the symbol behind the back. Um, again, when it's straight up hanging on the wall, it's not an issue. But again, looking at it like this way, I can see it through the, my eye on the angle. It just drives me crazy. And it drives me crazy, not necessarily now that it's done, but working on it, I'm always fidgeting trying to fix them. Um, so that was my kind of issue with that, really. I think that's it. Was, the, again, the drill size or the symbol size or whatever. Um, I will say that I loved two things about this kit, full stop. Well, three things, actually. Number one, the ABs are super sparkly as well. Just like on Pam's, look at these ABs. There, this is a kit that had a lot of ABs, which I'm so happy with. I can't tell you how many times I'll see kits from whatever different shop. And the kit that I'm not necessarily interested in will have like tons of ABs in it. But the kit that I, I want has like only a few. It's like, come on now. But this one has three different colors. But all of this white, the whole border on the the whole painting, this lace border is all AB. There's tons of the white ABs in the flower here as well, these flowers. And they're, so that's the white AB. There's these like kind of yellowish, um, creamish colors, ABs all in her crown. Um, the third one was kind of, uh, I think, an off-white as well. Um, but that kind of blends in with, the I think, the other white one. So I'm not sure which one where it inter intermingles. Um, but there, So there are tons of ABs in here. So that's number one. That's a great thing. Number two is, well, actually, four things. <laughs> the, the drills are, again, the same as Pam. Super, super sparkly. Beautiful. And that's, again, you're seeing lots of sparkle, not even in the AB areas, like her hair or her skin and her, her pink top. Beautiful sparkle. But I was so impressed with the glue. The glue, again, two things that I'm kind of, I have a weird obsession with is glue. It was so sticky. I love the glue on this painting. Fabulous, fabulous glue. And the cover sheet. I love a thick, 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 uh, clear cover sheet. It made it so easy to work on um, and do do kind of paint, dime paint, how I dime paint with cutting the cover sheet um, during and after my sessions that I and areas that I finish on um, and dividing the canvas, how I divide it. It made it so easy um, that it just, it was thick. It just peeled right up nicely and went down nicely. Um, a lot of times the really thinner ones you'll put on, not necessarily from like premium kits, but certainly from budget kits, you know, you'll put that sheet down and you have to really pull it up like it's sticking, even though it should, like it's stuck to this glue, which it shouldn't be doing. Oh, it was beautiful. So I love those four things. The shiny regular drills, the beautiful ABs, um, the cover sheet, the thick cover sheet, and the glue. 
fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Um, the con was, again, the, the thing behind uh, the shadow. And actually, I could see it poking out. Oh, again, it's a little bit worse here for this one. Um, what I love about the design, again, the, 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 I love the pinks in here. Um, that really attracted me. I have a thing, as I've gotten older, for some reason, I really love the color pink. When it usually never used to be a thing for me. Um, but I kind of, I'm really into the color pink. Um, the flowers are beautiful. I love her crown. Um, and surprisingly, if you know me, you'll be surprised by this. Everybody take a seat. You you might be shocked. You, you might be clutching the pearls. You know, you might need a little, um, a medic. I love doing her hair. Her hair looks fabulous. Now, why do I say that? about clutching the pearls. If you know me, you know I hate browns. I hate doing a lot of brown colors. Why was this okay? First off, why do I hate browns? It's because browns are usually in landscapes or that's where you find most of the times I can't stand them. Um, and because not only do you have to do browns, it brings the ugly greens, it brings the maroons and the dark purples and all those kind of sad earthy colors. I just can't stand them. I can't, doing it depresses me. I just hate doing it. That's why I don't like doing like outdoor kind of regular landscapes too often. <laughs> um, but the browns in this one, it was beautiful. First off, the, the main brown is this gorgeous milk chocolate color brown. I love this brown color. And what really makes it beautiful is, again, the 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 way her hair looks with the wave, with the definition, because the, you have the milk chocolate kind of brown in here, and then you have two different colors, um, basically kind of um, as the main separators to give it the body and the definition, which there's kind of like a more of a maroonish color. Now, because it's you near know, brown, it kind of, you know, it doesn't look maroon, but I believe that it was kind of more of a maroon color. And another, I think, color kind of brownish. I'm not too sure. Um, again, then there's other colors just mixed in here. Because there was a little, a little tiny bit of confetti in certain areas. But it just, the way her hair just looks, I, and this is just gorgeous. I, I'm like, you know, don't know what to say. I, I, just, I just love her hair. That, that's the, my favorite part of this painting is her hair. Which you wouldn't think so. But it's just gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love, love it. I love the little freckles right over here. Again, I love her bow and, and um, her reverence she's showing. Uh, the crown is beautiful. Everything is just, it's really beautiful. Um, the only icky colors are this one, but that's okay. And that one over here in the leaves. Um, you know, it could have been a nicer color there. But listen... That's not, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just, it's just no note on a color. It doesn't ruin the painting or anything. It's just, I don't love that color. But um, yeah, it's just really, really a beautiful um, picture. Um, let's bring you up close to show you. So as you can see, the pinks and all those ABs. Uh, again, in her crown. So the, the white AB, of course, up here. The crown has all those creamy ABs. And the big old flower. Her face. And her hair. See on some of those pinks, you can see a little bit of that black poking out a little bit that I was talking about. So, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, let me bring that other one out. So we can put them both here. Let's see. Look at them both in the camera. Oh, aren't they just both beautiful? You know, I, again, I don't know what else to say. Um, I enjoyed working on these both incredibly, incredible amount. 
and I think the finish A pluses across the board absolutely adored um, so with that said I hope you enjoyed the post review of these I hope you'll check out both shops um, give them a shot um, and um, yeah let me know your thoughts please and I guess until next time, I will. I guess I'll say, everybody, be uh, be well, be kind, um, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. And until next time, bye guys. Thanks for watching.